In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the rear brakes on this Mercedes E350. Let's get into it. We're going to remove the wheel using a 17 millimeter socket. Take the lug bolts out. Once we go to take the last one out, I'm just going to hold the wheel on so it doesn't fall. Just grab the wheel and slide it off. Remove this clip. I'm just going to use a pry bar and just some pliers. Just slide this up, pull this out with the pliers. Just like that. Using some needle nose pliers, we'll disconnect the sensor right here. Just grab that, slide that out. We'll just grab the sensor, just using the needle nose pliers, slide that out, just like that. Using an E10 socket, we're gonna take this bolt out right here. This is for the bracket for that speed sensor, or the brake pad sensor. Take that out, and then you can set that wire aside. We're gonna remove the brake caliper bolts. We're gonna use a T40 socket. There may be a cap on here. This vehicle doesn't have the caps. You might have to pop those out. And loosen up the top one as well. Grab the brake caliper, slide that off, and take the inboard pad, slide it out, take that off. Using a brake caliper hanger, I'm just gonna hang this from the upper control arm in the back. Just make sure there's no tension on the brake hose. Take this pad off. I'm just using a pry bar because this one's stuck on there pretty good but it should, should just slide off. We want to remove the caliper bracket bolts using 18 millimeter socket. Take those off. For the top one, I'm going to use an 18 millimeter wrench because it's a little tight in there. that bolt out, slide the bracket right off. And we're gonna take this screw out, use a T30 socket. Take that out. And grab the rotor. If it's still tight on there, you wanna take a hammer and just hit in these locations. And slide it right off. Taking a wire brush, I'm gonna clean up the hub surface. A thin coat of anti seize. And just coat around the center of the hub. And get the rest of it. Just don't put it on, on the threads. Just try to avoid that. It looks good.
Take the rotor, we'll just take some brake parts cleaner. Clean the back side. Just use a rag, wipe it off. Turn it around. Clean the other side and wipe it off. Now take the rotors. If you have to make an adjustment, you can adjust the adjuster right here. Just turn it one way or another to tighten it up or loosen it for the parking brake shoes. Slide it on. We just want it barely touching. We can tighten those a little more. Should be good there. Take the screw, get that started. Now I'm going to take a wire brush and clean up the bracket. Do the same on this side. You can take the new brake pads and just make sure they slide nice in here. If they're binding up at all, you're gonna trim some of that, more of that rust back, just with the wire brush. Those are sliding nice. I'm just gonna do a little more right here. There's no clips on these. So if you would like, you can use a little silicone and just where the pads are gonna slide, put it on there, just a thin coat. And it's just gonna prevent some of the corrosion. That's good. And we can reinstall this on the vehicle. Take the bracket, slide it over the rotor. Take the bolts, get those started. Tighten those down. And we'll torque these down to 85 foot-pounds. All right, now grab the caliper. Take this hanger off. We can pop these slide pins out. You want to clean those off. Just put this over here for now. And just take a little brake parts cleaner, clean this off. There's a little bit of corrosion right there. Just take a wire brush, just clean that up a little bit. Good. Take a little bit of silicone, just wipe it on, and then in the hole where it goes, you can just take a little silicone, put that in there, just so it slides good. Slide it back in. Like that. Make sure it moves good. And do the same on the other one. There we go. That's good.
good. This slide good. We're gonna compress the piston. Just use a caliper compressing tool. I'm just gonna use one of the old brake pads on the inside. And slowly compress this. And go nice and slow. This is gonna push the fluid through the lines, through the hoses, back up into the master cylinder reservoir. It's all the way down. Take that out. Take the new brake pad that has the clip on it. It's gonna go into the caliper, right into the piston. So line that up. Push it in. The outer pad, slide that in place, and we can slide the caliper right over. Now get the pins started. I'll torque these bolts to 20 foot-pounds. If you have the little caps, put those on. Take this bracket, get this lined up. Let's get it on. Put the bolt in. And snug that down. That's good. Take the new sensor and line that up. Push that into the brake pad so it locks in place. And connect the connector. Line that up. Push that in so it locks in. That's good. Now I take the clip, slide this in position, same way we took it out. Just get it lined up. Get that clipped in, that's good. Now you can pump the brake pedal nice and slow. There's a little bit of an air gap in between the brake pads and the caliper piston. That's good. About five times will be good. Under the hood, on the driver's side, under this cover, you just twist these little twists and you can see where the brake fluid is. You want to check that level and adjust accordingly. I'll take the wheel. Line it up. Take the lug bolt, get that started. Just 
snug that down. And install the rest of them. Now we're going to torque the lug nuts to 95 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Just go around again, double check. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.